Hey guys, uh, it's Frank here with Unresolved um, Crimes, <laughs> and I have to be honest, I am kind of obsessed with the, uh, obsessed with this case. I have to say, I am obsessed with the Delphi murder case, and I fairly admit to that. But still, every single time, every single day, uh, I probably tomorrow I will figure out some new things, and it's just mind baffling. And I'm just trying to comprehend like the logic behind it, and I just can't apparently. So. Uh, Apparently there are Delphi police scanners that uh, were around that time, 2-14-2017. And uh, I want to do like a reaction video. I'm not doing this for any entertainment, uh, entertainment purposes because I, for a fact, have my own uh, opinion about this case. And who might have did it. And I'm not entirely sure, so I do not want to point fingers. But still, I think it's a fairly enough reason, for me at least, to make uh, these kinds of videos because I find it for a fact that this case needs to be uh, justifiable, it needs to be solved, and we can all agree on that. But from what I uh, heard yesterday, I was just uh, finishing uh, the Zodiac podcast that I did with uh, Heather, and uh, then afterwards I always go late to sleep. I can't, I cannot sleep. I always watch my, uh, or I do not watch my own videos. I, in fact, I hate my own voice, but still. <laughs> I always do like other cases, other cases that I did before, and I do not think they, uh, or I do not think that I have like done enough research, so I do like more research. So I came across uh, across this uh, Delphi police scanner uh, audio. Never heard it before in my life, so this is the first time I actually do uh, want to do a live reaction because I'm getting the sense that it's gonna shock me. But okay, here we go. And there are a lot of YouTubers that we, uh, know more and way more than they do about the Delphi case than I do. I do admit that. Does not make up for the fact that uh, a fresh eye makes up for a thousand, right? So let's go. stop this my mind is absolutely going a thousand miles right now okay 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 hold on let's go Copy. 
thank you. I'm not sure if this a video is a, yeah, it's five minutes long, so I'm not sure. I did not pause it, by the way, so. I'm not entirely sure, but, wow. Hold on. Does this go on any further? Apparently not, but there needs to be more though, because yesterday I heard uh, something, and that just that that does not convert to any logic that I have, and believe me, my human logic is <laughs> far away from other people. But still, let me find that other clip though. Actus Ruse, there we go. Really good website. We'll post it down below. But it has part of a police scanner. And in my uh, last episode about the uh, Delphi murders, we were kind of like speculating that the girls were like killed in water. And we do not have an exact location where the girls were murdered. Even though we have that Ron uh, or Logan, uh, Ron Logan. Uh, affidavit that uh, states that there was pretty much a lot of blood loss it I just do not know I just do not know and that's what makes a lot of people crazy about this because as you heard that's an official police scanner that year that they did not have confirmation that the girls were in, uh, in the water and I believe I honestly believe something is not right in this case something does not add up so I was uh, well I'm not sc uh, sharing the screen right now because I do not want to talk like an hour or so but still let me see um, just give me a sec here and this just blew my mind so I tried to f uh, find like the full police scanner uh, or at least the logs of it but I could not find it so they uh, this is the first one Kelsey describes the search of a Libby her shoe uh, three of us chose to cross the bridge to look underneath the bridge on the opposite side um, and that's where I ended up hearing that we found the bodies you when you were there. okay besides that awkward point because I think there is something not right here because the police scanner will show us in a minute it will show it differently so you find a shoe and you think that uh, there are bodies found they could have like an accident uh, or whatever but still and I'm not blaming blaming Kelsey anything though definitely not I think she had a really tough loss of uh, uh, well of her younger sister but see that this is the part every single time I search something and I need to do my homework first because, uh, before I uh, do this uh, kind of video but my mind was just so far blown uh, a friend audio on uh, we all know that so that's the kind of the intention I want to deal with these uh, kind of analyzing videos and um, I do not want to copy like all the content that other people actually made. I want to go like in real in depth that uh, somebody might have not noticed of somebody uh, that not have uh, heard and make it like into a compilation. So here we go. And I have to stop. This, this totally blew my mind. This honestly, it blew my brains out. Everything I read, everything I knew about this case, went out of the roof because of this. It did not make any sense whatsoever. So here it says, Police Scanner Audio Clothing, February 15, 2017. Save it. Uh, 
not an item of interest under the railroad rules. Copy that. Go ahead and describe it to me. Girls undergarments. What? Are you are you fucking kidding me? We know items were not at the at the at that scene. If you believe the Ron uh uh Ron Logan after David, it says the girls were staged, right? And I'm not sure if that is one hundred percent true. I do not know how the girls were attacked. But if this is true, what the police scanner is saying, and I let's assume that's pretty much all we can do uh, for a fact, right? How come this is like this website, Act as Ruse, is public information, but the police is not confirming any of it? They asked the public for help, but still, still, we have like so little to go on, and they don't want rumors. That's what uh, Doc Cutter actually told us. They do not want rumors, they do not want uh, sketches. Because sketches are not photos, right? Then this is also Police Scanner Audio Cigarette, February 15, 2017. Go ahead. Uh, they're on their way with uh, evidence back, so just stand by there. They're on their way. They're coming through the water, by the way. Okay, so twice, twice in this police scanner, we heard that first, it couldn't be confirmed, but the girls were in the water. How the fuck couldn't we see that in the helicopter footage then? If they were missing. Wow, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly shocked. I'm honestly shocked. I, I'm not sure what is left and right anymore. This case is getting so bizarre. So description of clothing, shoes, February uh, 14, 2017, from 75 miles, uh, uh, 70 miles, so from 75 uh, yards away, I could see girls' clothing in Deer Creek, east of the bridge, and knew full well that the girls were found very nearby. I'm, I'm actually stress smoking because of this. I, I cannot make my mind because of this. And somebody yelled up there, they found a shoe. So that, somebody apparently found a shoe of uh, Liberty, I think, and it was a black Nike, right? So they yelled up and Kelsey confirmed it. And when they had found the shoe, they had asked what kind of shoe the girls were wearing and they yelled out the type of shoe that Lib Libby was wearing. So we know that. So from every single thing or every single thing of evidence that we know. So that's not a fact, right? We know from what we are supposedly having to believe is that the girls were moved from the crime scene. If they were moved, and they were in the water, as the police scanner actually said, that does not make any sense. It does not make any sense, honestly. It's fucking mind... Yeah, mind shock. It's fucking mind shock. So, I'm... I'm I'm pretty sure you guys that I, I know the Delphi murders are pretty much the for me as a small channel it's the most watched episodes that I do and it says here I'm just reading it forward though. it's not my own opinion but here it actually says and it's a really good website to get information actors I'm not, not sure if I say that right but still 
the autopsies are completely sealed as this as this is an act uh, active investigations okay I, I can get with that you know I can get with that online there are supposed text messages detailing the manner of how they were found allegedly sent by a family member family members ex-boyfriend however it is easy to fake screenshots yeah it is and fuck you for that Honestly, the person who faked this, you need to drop dead and you need to be hanged on the highest tree. You do not make fake screenshots about this case. And it's easy to photograph a fake screenshot displaying on a phone. Also true. The supposed screenshot of the text messages cannot be verified in any way. And that's why they probably didn't, uh, did not do that. And we are totally being led the wrong way. I mean, come on, guys. We need to get some justice for these girls. So stop with all the fucking bullshit. I've been re I've been reading so much Reddit posts, and I was and I'm like, yeah, that could be a possibility. You know what? That that could be a possibility. And you know what? Let's be honest. That the whole Libby and uh, Abby uh, page of Reddit is so fucking toxic when you do not agree in certain points. But still. But still, I think you need to post there to collaborate with each other to find these girls some justice. But how? How can you be that toxic, though? I mean, there is so much evidence. That's apparently not even evidence anymore. People just blab. People just make rumors. People make theories. People make allegations. For what? For their, their five minutes of fame? There was a uh, there was a guy I, I just read about this a few a uh, few days ago. It's uh, unsolved, I think. And this guy posted, and I I honestly think he's a good guy. He he made uh, he makes a real good podcast. So you have to like this crazy woman, right? And okay, let me rephrase that. I do not know if this woman is crazy, but she stated that these girls were drowned. And everybody, everybody went over her. Everybody. We we just heard the the police kind of uh, recording, right? How can we be sure that this woman is lying? How? We do not know that. That's how little evidence we got. We do not know. We do not know how those girls were found. And I'm honestly getting fucking pissed about this case. That's just because, well, first of all, Reddit is a fucking, uh, fucking toxic community. And you people need to think about this. We are trying to work all together to get some justice for these little girls. That's the whole point why we kind of do this. That's why every single podcast do this. But people are, are kind of obsessed by, the, by this case. As, as do I. Absolutely. But I accept somebody is open mind every single thing could be possible that's how little evidence we got everything could be possible so law enforcement has recovered dna from the crime scene allegedly whatever law enforcement is sure that the dna they have is definitely the offender is unknown so it could be from wild animals it could be from anything it could be even from a fish so we just heard in that police uh, police recording right in the police kind of recording that that was under garments found underneath the bridge how the fuck is nobody talking about this that totally, absolutely blew my mind. That means something else happened that a lot of people actually state. But let's go on. And although I'm stress smoking, my fucking cigarette went out. So give me a break.
So in this in this investigation, and like I said, I do know for a fact a lot of people know way more about me than this. But I do not I, I honestly do not want to get any tunnel vision on this. Why did Shadow uh, Sheriff Lazenby, for example, quit the search early that night? Sure, it was dark. But it's two little girls you're talking about. Who knows? Who knows? They could have been saved. And he said in an interview, yeah, I was not the only person who... Uh, who agreed to that. It was not an official search party yet, you dipshit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Carol's, uh, Carroll County Sheriff Toby Lazenby is clearing up some misconceptions about the double homicide. No, that's bullshit. You made the misconception. You made the decision to say to uh, their grandparents to stop that search. And if that is even strange in the fucking least, why would you do that? It's a small community. Everybody took time off to help find these girls. The same day, the same day they were found. Well, not the same day they were found. The, the previous day that they went missing. Oh, I'm having honestly so many mixed emotions. And something is not right, guys. Honestly, something is not right about this case. I think we're being lied to. I honestly do think we're being lied to. I even talked to uh, Libby, your mom, Corey. And I told her... W uh, I, I said it in all honesty. I asked her... Uh, and I was kind of kind of hesitant to actually send her that message, but uh, I asked Corey, uh, "Hey Corey, I'm a uh, Dutch private investigator. I do really want to help and get a, like a fresh eye on this uh, on this case, but I think there is some involvement in. Well, I did not want to uh, to straight say it. I do think there is somewhat the corruption in this case." And I do not I do not know why I could be wrong and I could be mistaken. Fair enough, but there is the whole attitude with Doc Carter that there is just something off. A lot of people praise him, but I think it's over exaggerating. Over exaggerating, and he did that with the Flora case as well. Just yesterday, he he made like the same. I cannot even explain it. But if if ISP really wants our help, then they... It's almost five years, guys. It's almost five years. Well, it has been five years. Why does ISP not give us only confusion? If you have a small community of 3,000 people, you, you show some fucking blurry picture... Or, or, or a few fragments of a fucking blurry uh, video and suddenly they go ahead and make a fucking new sketch you can give any reason any fucking reason you want to have some doubts about the officers that are researching that case so I asked Corey so, Corey, uh, do you think uh, Doug Carter is corrupt? And let me actually get that message. Because I, I, I just want to get it uh, straight. See? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I honestly do not want to make jokes because I'm fucking pissed off, but still. <laughs> This case is so weird in so many things, so many ways. So, carry Timmons, there we go. So, I said, well, 
She said, sorry, I sleep during the day. I bartend at night. I'm not even off of work yet. I said, please, by all means, I do understand that. I said, do you think Duck Carter is corrupt? And she says, I think she, he is incompetent. Because we all see these like nice videos about him being like a great guy. He's a fucking actor. He is the guy who's making the shots. He is the guy that is making the whole fucking community go batshit crazy because there isn't enough information that we can actually use to help. If he's doing that on purpose, I do not know. I do not know. So, witnesses. Law enforcement has never spoken pub uh, publicly in reference to specific names, witnesses, or sightings. And there we go again. Apparently, nobody knows. In a community of fucking 3,000, nobody knows who spoke to who. They have vaguely confirmed there were multiple witnesses when describing the process of creating the composite sketch. Not sketches. This is in this case. I think we're being mindfucked here, guys. Honestly. I, I honestly do. And I didn't want to make this a long video, but I'm fucking pissed. After that, after that uh, recording of that police scanner that there were on, undergarments found, that's a huge, huge, huge... That's evidence. From what we are being told, the girls uh, got ordered down the hill, and we're even not sure if that recording is in the right order or, or what time stake it was made. There is so much, uh, apparently, there is so much evidence, as ISP is saying, and we just do not know. I made a video yesterday that's uh, analyzing Bridge Guy 2.0. I uh, kind of stated that we might, uh, in my first video that I analyzed the Bridge Guy, I have, could have been mistaken, and I do uh, accept that. I mean, that that's me as being a human, but that's kind of like when I analyze the video, when I see something, I want to post about it because it might be irrelevant. But if you like compare every single thing that we knew and I heard that video uh, 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 I heard that police scanner uh, fragment it just made me mad as a fucking what's like the extreme thing that is mad I do not know a bull but Let's come the fuck on, guys. I do understand. I do understand in the murder investigation that you need to get uh, keep evidence behind. But then in the 2019 pre uh, press release that Doc Carter that, uh, said that you will be shocked if you find out who it is. And he's speaking directly to the killer. I think that's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fucking acting work. I do not think they have a clue. But in a, clo a close community, you want to keep information to yourself. Or maybe it's someone from high stature. We do not know that. But after that, after that fucking police recording. I decided to make this video and I'm fucking pissed. I want some answers. And I guess everybody wants answers. And why the fuck is this not talked to? Because every single theory that we have been talking about goes out the fucking window just because undergarments were found underneath the bridge. Something else was going on. And only the police apparently know that. But what? That's a good question. That's a million dollar question. And everybody just scrutin, uh, scrutinize each other because of their theories. And I do get that. Because not every theory can be 
I explained the logic. But you guys just heard that re recording, right? I think we need to reconsider, guys. Something did not add up. I do not believe those girl, uh, those girls just went running away across the uh, across the creek, and were just found there. I watched yesterday, frame for frame. I went like half a day, frame for frame, on a uh, thirty minute fo uh, footage about the helicopter. I didn't did not see shit. Where where the girls were uh, allegedly found, I did not see anything, anything what resembled a body or those two girls. I think we're being lied to. And I think people need to definitely, definitely need to be honest. So let's ask that podcast, HLN. Let's ask the murder sheet because they think it's TK or KK. And I think that's the biggest bullshit there has ever been told. There's only one, apparently there's only one podcast that can do that sort of shit. Do trans transcripts, do uh, affidavits. They apparently can get everything. Because if that search in the Washby River is going south, their, their, their career is going south. If they do not find anything, then their whole credibility is gone. Well, well, anyways, guys, that's my rant for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I love you all. Peace out.